does the Bible talk about coronavirus? The answer to this question may surprise you. In Matthew chapter 24, verse 3, Jesus' disciples asked him what the signs of his return would be. Jesus proceeds to give a list of signs, but in verse 8 he says, these are the beginning of birth pains. That's a strange thing to say, I thought. What do birth pains have to do with Jesus' return? My beautiful wife Gabrielle gave birth to our daughter Sarah literally two weeks ago. However, her contractions began almost a month prior to that. These contractions were not very strong and they were very spaced apart. However, as the event grew nearer, these contractions became more frequent and more intense. So much so that just before the event, everyone knew about it. So what does this have to do with coronavirus and final world events? Jesus told his disciples that there would be a number of events which would happen throughout time. In fact, they were even happening in Jesus' day, which is why he said to them, these are the beginning of birth pains. However, just before he would return, he predicted that these events would increase in intensity and in duration. In Matthew chapter 24, verse 7, we are given a list of some of these events. It reads, And there will be famines, pestilences, and earthquakes in various places. Jesus foretold that just before his return, there would be an increase in natural disasters, including pestilences. Now, what's a pestilence? Well, another word for pestilence is plague, or as the WHO declared coronavirus on March 11, a pandemic. I was talking to my mother-in-law just yesterday, and I was asking her if she remembers any event that has impacted the whole world such as this one during her lifetime. And we discussed this and realized that nothing has been so globally affecting as coronavirus during our lifetimes. Jesus predicted that just before his return, natural disasters would also increase just like birth pains. You don't need to look any further than our own country, Australia, to see this happening. A few months ago, we had unprecedented fires, which were followed by floods, and before we even had a chance to breathe, this global pandemic is upon us. I don't know about you, but to me, these seem to be just like birth pains, with increasing frequency and unprecedented intensity, exactly as you would expect just before the event. But Jesus and others, including Paul, Peter and Daniel, also foretold other events that would happen just before the end of time. And while coronavirus certainly seems to fit what Jesus said would happen in Matthew 24 7, are the other events that are foretold also happening or are they yet to be fulfilled? Check out this link for a detailed description of the final events the Bible foretells would happen just before Jesus returns so you don't find yourself prophetically out of toilet paper.